Here we meet again. This is the fourth video of Piping Fundamental Course, and I can see that you are one of our hardcore followers. So, this video is for you, and it is the main dish of our piping meal. We shall talk about piping components and its specifications. Piping components are mechanical elements when joined or assembled form a pressure-tight fluid containing stream. Components include pipe fittings, flanges, gaskets, bolting and valves. The first system component we shall review is pipe. Pipe is being manufactured by one of the three processes. Seamless. Seam welding. Spiral welding. The manufacturing process selection depends on pipe size, wall thickness, quality requirements and client specifications. The seamless pipes are manufactured through a production process called extrusion. First the billet is deep bored. Then the billet is heated to 1200 degrees Celsius. When extrusion started the billet is pressed out the die in the mandrel resulting in seamless pipe. Seamless pipes manufacturing process has different techniques such as this management plug mill process for making seamless tubing. This process involves forcing a billet between the rolls of a management mill so as to pierce the center, and then forcing the metal over a mandrel to form the central bore and size for the required dimensions. For the seam welded pipe production process, it begins with a steel sheets in form of coils. The first step is to uncoil and level this sheet then rolling starts to progressively form the circular cross section. The rolled sheet shall be welded, sized to correct dimension and straightened at final stage. Spiral welded pipe is produced from coils of steel that are unwound and flattened. The flattened strip is formed by angled rollers into a cylinder of the desired diameter. Interior and exterior welding seal the spiral seam. The pipe is cut to length and the ends are beveled if required. Spiral welded pipe is primarily used for water distribution service. Welded pipes are produced mainly by two distinct manufacturing methods. Submerged arc welding, SAW process. An electric arc is created between a continuously fed consumable solid or tubular electrode wire and workpiece. The arc and the molten weld pool are submerged under a blanket of granular fusible flux which are being fed continuously ahead of the welding electrode to generate protective gases and slag, and add alloying elements to the weld pool. The excess flux is recycled via hopper and remaining fused slag layers can be easily removed. As the arc is completely covered by the flux layer, it prevents spatter and sparks and heat loss is also extremely low. In Electric Resistance Welding ERW, process The current is passed between the two edges of the steel cylinder to heat the steel to a point at which the edges are forced together to form a bond without the use of welding filler material. Several electric resistance welding processes are available for pipe production. High frequency contact welding The weld current is transmitted to the material through contacts that ride on the strip. 
The weld power is applied directly to the pipe, which makes this process more electrically efficient and it is well suited to large diameter and high wall thickness pipes. In high-frequency induction welding, the weld current is transmitted to the material through a work coil in front of the weld point. The work coil does not contact the pipe. The electrical current is induced into the pipe material through magnetic fields that surround the pipe. High-frequency induction welding eliminates contact marks and reduces the setup required when changing pipe size. In the next couple of slides we shall review other aspects that should be specified when describing a pipe. Pipe end, or the method of joining the pipe with other components. For the ends of pipes are three standard versions available. Plain ends P, typically cut at a 90 degree angle to the pipe run for a flat, even termination. In most cases, plain end pipes are used with slip-on flanges and socket weld fittings and flanges. This makes them ideal for small diameter piping systems. Threaded ends. The threaded end implementation speaks for itself. This performance will be generally used for small diameters pipe systems, and the connections will be made with threaded flanges and threaded fittings. Typically used for pipes with a nominal size of 3 inch or smaller, threaded pipes allow for an excellent seal. However, connecting the threads on a threaded pipe properly is essential to avoid damaging pipes, fittings, or flanges. Beveled ends B. The beveled ends implementation is applied to all diameters of butt weld flanges or butt weld fittings, and will be directly welded with a small gap 3 to 4 mm to each other or pipe. Ends are mostly beveled to angle 30 degrees with a root face of 1.6 mm. These bevels are often applied by fabricators by hand or through automated processes to ensure consistency. If we want to fully specifying a pipe in a document for design or purchasing purposes, we have to fulfill all following aspects. Pipe size, nominal diameter, according to ASME B36.10 or B36.19. Manufacturing process, whether it is seamless or seam welded and the required welding process as described before. Schedule number according to ASME B36.10 or B36.19 and it is an indication for pipe wall thickness. You can review the definitions and terminology episode for more information. Material designation, and this is shall be according to API 5L or ASME code section 2 or ASTM. Piping lengths from the factory not exactly cut to length but are normally delivered as single random length has a length of around 5 to 7 meter. Double random length has a length of around 11 to 13 meter. And at last, the pipe end is prescribed before. Let's take an example of a complete pipe specifications. 6 inches for the pipe size. Seamless is the manufacturing process. Schedule 80 is a designator for a pipe with a wall thickness of 11 mm. The material grade is X65 according API 5L standard. The required pipe joints shall be of 6 m length, single random length. The pipes shall be beveled ends.